Hi everyone, in this video we are going to demonstrate a remote keyboard scanner as a key scan or key logging tool available in our Kali Venice machine. So what will happen in this demonstration? Let's say once we have exploited some of the systems and project a machine like this, Windows 7. After that, we can use some of the tools and with the help of that key scan tool, whatever this victim machine will type or whatever this user will type, we can see those key strokes on the screen of our Kali Dennis machine. But now to perform this activity, we need to have access to this victim's machine. So for our demonstration, we have taken Windows XP and I have Kali Linux machine. So on Windows XP, we have our PC service running and to exploit that RPC, we need to send some uh, code to the victim machine and then we need to use Metasploit framework to gain access of the victim's machine. Content has been made available for information and educational purpose only and we are not supposed to use it for any illegal or malicious purpose. Okay, so now to demonstrate the use of key scan or key logging uh, script, metaprinter script in Kali Linux machine. I have selected two machines here. One is Kali Linux machine as you can see and the second is Windows XP. And before starting everything just we want to see the IP address because we want to verify that both of the machines should be on the same subnet. So I'm going to check the IP address of Windows um, XP. You can see this is 192.168.204.132. And the same way if we go to Kali Linux machine and if we launch terminal and if we run command IF config, it should show us the IP address and you can see the subnet portion is same it means both of the computers or both of the virtual machines are on the same subnet after this i'm going to run nmap command so i'm going to run this nmap tool to scan all the available ports and services on this windows xp machine and i have a detailed video uh, about the exploit or about the vulnerability available in xp machine which i'll be again using that vulnerability to access this XP machine which will be acting as a victims a target machine so I'll put the video of that in our description section and now we are going to uh, maybe run this and map so for this we have a command and map and sorry for spelling and map and then we are interested in looking at the version number of this services running on the target machine and now we need to give IP address for our target machine that is this and we press enter and after this I've been given this results and you can see in this result one of the result is that port number 445 uh, is open and this is the service Microsoft DS service and in that service in this specific version of Windows we have uh, or this is uh, actually a vulnerability and this has been given uh, a CVE and we want to exploit this vulnerability in Windows XP using this CVE. But now to exploit it, we already have a module, exploit module in Metasploit framework. So for this, I'm going to launch Metasploit framework using MSF console command. And now this will launch MSF console uh, Metasploit framework for us. And then we'll try to find out the exploit available in the Metasploit uh, framework so that we can exploit this or uh, the weakness available or vulnerability available in this Microsoft DS. Again, the video on detailed discussion is in other video. Today, we are going to use that same exploit and we are going to access the Metaprater session to the victim's machine because uh, those commands which I'm going to show you are available in Metaprater session. So for this, we already in the Exploit framework and now we are going to search with this CVE that is MS08 and uh, 067 and press enter and you can see we have an exploit against Windows machine this one here so now I'm going to use this exploit against target machine and to use this exploit I'm just going to use the index number that is 0 and after this you can see we are in this exploit mode and uh, the payload has already been selected so we are not going to change it but uh, we are going to set the remote host here 
and remote host mainly XP machine so that is 192.168.204 and then 13 we have set remote host of XP machine and after selecting exploit and payload we are going to exploit um, uh, we are going to run this command against our target machine that is Windows XP and now uh, you can see after this command this reverse TCP handler has been started and now we are provided with metapreter session now in this matter once we have uh, this matter preter session uh, this is running on some process but i want to shift i want to use another process that is uh, explorer.exe so the benefit will be that that uh, we don't need to worry about the exploited process getting reset so if the process is resetting this will not hurt us because explorer.exe may be start or this will start when the computer boots our windows xp machine boots so for this we first we are looking at the process list here using ps command and in this process list we have to find out the explorer.exe and you can see this is the explorer.exe uh, process id of this so yes this is 1624 is the process id for this and now we are just going to migrate from the current process to the process of explorer.exe and that is 1624 and just to explorer.exe process we just have to use this command as migrate and then 1624 is the process id of that right? and then we just press enter and now you can see this is migrating from this process to 1624 that is explorer.exe and once we are in this process we can run this command to get user id to verify whether we have the system level privileges to the target machine target machine is this one here and this is a newbie and by using get uid command you can see we it shows that we don't have system privileges and we have uh, the user newbie level privileges and now to escalate our privileges we have this command that is get system and using get system we have got the system level privileges to the uh, to our victim machine that is windows xp so now we have achieved matter preter session and in this matter preter session we have the commands which we are using today so using help command we will have further details about the commands about the tools which we'll be using today so for this you can see here we have uh, you can see here yes you can see key scan start and key scan stop so key, key scan start command will be used to start capturing keystrokes so someone using windows xp machine they will be using some keystrokes and we can actually capture or we, or we can sniff on those keystrokes and we can see in windows xp so for that i'm going to use that command that is key and is scan and start key scan start now press enter and it says that this has started the keystroke sniffer and now it means key um, the sniffer has started and to verify let's go to windows xp machine and maybe if we uh, again maybe if we launch internet explorer and internet explorer if we i'm going to write www.google.com and if i press enter and now and uh, maybe if i if i use some other commands like if i uh, launch command prompt and if i run ip config command and press enter so i have actually uh, i have used many keys here and now if i want to verify that what keys i have pressed there uh, i want to verify it and for this i'm going here and i'm going to say key is scan and i'm going to use key scan dump command so you can see here if you want to verify the commands here that is key scan stop and key scan dump so that will dump the keystroke buffer so now going to dump that keystroke buffer and for that we have this command and press enter and when you press enter you can see dumping captured keystroke so keystroke which which were pressed by by I mean the keys which were pressed by the victim machine here they we can see here they are displayed so user actually clicked on ww type www.google.com and then these are the special character rep representing return 
for example and then you can see this command and press enter cmd and then we typed ipconfig and then enter so you can see we have actually uh, we are successful in capturing the key uh, strokes from the victim machine